for our Edu Play movement for the week, this is what we're going to do. And I have cards that I'm going to share with you as well, but this one's going to be a good one this week. So, for the Edu Play movement, your kiddos are going to have the opportunity to act out community helpers in their area by either things that they have in the house or by just using their imagination, okay? So, for example, if Nalia wants to be a pet doctor or a veterinarian, she can get her stuffed animals, she can pretend that she is being a vet and helping them to get better, okay? By saying, oh, I see Ella's Lammy over there. Oh no, Lammy has a tummy ache. How are we gonna make her tummy feel better? And really talking with them about the situations that a vet would have to deal with, right? So another thing that I like to do, I'm gonna share with you real quick because this is one of my secret tricks. This is one of my, uh, you know, my bag of tricks here, I've done it all. I have a bin here of everything that could be either vet related or doctor related. Masks before they became, you know, a fashion statement. Uh, a crutch, not really a fashion statement. I'm sorry guys, that was not correct. But you know what I mean, before we had to start wearing them. But this was a doctor mask. We had uh, teeth for the kiddos to brush their teeth. My grandma gave that. Yeah, we have a shot. We have an ice pack. All right, we have uh, an ear looker thing. Right? It's, a, it's what's for that your called? ears. What's that called though? A stethoscope? No, that's not a stethoscope. We got a thermometer. They, I'm sure they do have a stethoscope in here somewhere. We got some glasses. But there's pretty much and anything. Another crutch. And another crutch. Anything in here that they could take this bin and use that's their imagination. Good. Okay, that's good. Well done. Use their imagination and be able to role play, okay? They're able to role play they're a doctor or a vet or grab some cars, okay? Some matchbox cars or any kind of play cars that they have, trains, anything like that, and let them fix the car. Let them fix a train, okay? Let them build the track. Let them build a city, okay? Think about things like that. Let them be a firefighter. So boys and girls, pretend you have to go fight a fire. Put your boots on, right? Don't forget your pants first. Put your big pants on and then put your boots on. Put your jacket on, button it up, right? Put your hat on. Don't forget your big gear and your mask, your big mask. And we gotta go into the fire very carefully. And then don't forget your hose and spray the fire out. Okay, we go up and down. They have an oxygen mask so they can breathe in the fire when they go in, right? And they have big tanks on them sometimes. Yeah, they have to be able to breathe in that. Elmo has so, one. Yeah, I know. Okay, so pretend to be a firefighter. Okay, what are the things we have? We had a builder. Pretend to be a teacher. This is something that Ella does all the time, and this is something that I used to do as a kid. Surprise, surprise, probably not. So I used to, you know, torture my brother and sister. I would set up desks and I would have a table and I would have books and I would be teaching them. And Ella actually does the same thing with her stuffed animals. She teaches them and she does math problems with them. I usually just do math, especially with the animals. And she reads to them, right? Well, All not, of these things. That is really. the EduPlay movement for this week. And that, one time I took them on a trip. You do? Where'd you take them? I went to go camping, but I packed my stuff in my suitcase. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that is the Edu Play movement for this week. It is just a lot of imaginative play. It is a lot of using, you know, be a mail carrier. That's something that's going to be our craft for this week. I'm excited for that. So stay tuned for that. But I will share with you guys a little bit more of how you can. Um, think of things for each of these community helpers. All right.